I tell you something and you don't find it in the Bible, ignore it. Do me a favor. Tell your pastor to preach Deuteronomy 14, 22 to 26 in church next weekend. Let's see. I've never heard any pastor preach it. You should tithe a, a 10% of your income and you should eat that tithe. It's there. It's Deuteronomy 14. They will never preach it. How, oh, they don't want to confuse you into thinking that the what you're supposed to give them to buy private jet, you want to start eating it. What would you say is the best way for every person out there who pays tithe that this is what you should do and you know that you do not stand in this hell for Matthew 25. If you are a person, stop giving your money to any building, stop giving your money to any man, give your money to the people Jesus said you should give, you should help. He's there, sick, naked, people who can't take care of themselves, widows, orphans, strangers, help them. Tithe. Let me see them stop collecting tithe. Let them stop for one year. Let's see who will still be a pastor. To be you. You, you can come and preach. Stop collecting tithe. Preach that word that Jesus preached. At least Jesus did not collect tithe. Jesus fed the 5,000. In Nigeria, the 5,000 feed these thieves. Imagine Jesus standing on the pulpit and collecting food from the 5,000. Poor people. I've heard doctrines like even if you came here with 50 naira and that's all you have, give it, let God bless you. I'm like, hello, someone that came with 50 naira, that he should dash 100 naira so he can find his way home. You are telling him to bring his transport money. And yeah, I can listen. I, I cannot encourage anybody to give any money to. I'm sorry. So I try to wake people up. Hello, wake up. This guy that is telling you that if you bring your tithe, God will bless you, is telling you lies. Okay, so are you saying that people are not supposed to pay tithe? Let me break this down to you properly. If you pay tithe to any Nigerian pastor, you are a goat. Okay. Especially if you neglect what you're supposed to do. I've had people argue with me, so you think I'm giving my money to my pastor? I'm giving it to God. Hello. The transfer of earthly wealth to spiritual wealth was done in the Bible in Matthew 25. And it has nothing to do with pastors. You want to give your money to Jesus, the Bible says the people who are in the hospital. Matthew 25 is right there. And people who are homeless, people who are hungry, people who are naked. Jesus said, each time you remember those people, you remember me. So if you want to give your money to Jesus, those are the people you should help. Not one private jet flying daddy geo who, as far as I'm concerned, should be given to you. Now, a lot of people are under the bondage of, there's a very popular Nigerian verse um, written by um, the lesser prophet Malachi when he was addressing uh, the people. And it's Malachi 3, 8 to 10. But because you have no biblical knowledge and you choose not to read and enlighten yourself, you fall victim. These people that are supposed to pray for you are actually praying on you. The story starts in Nehemiah 10.38. The instruction is clear. The Lord says the Levites, who are the ones that are entitled to receive the tithe, should give 10% of the tithe. Only 10% is what you give the priest to take to the storehouse. So let's imagine you pay tithe, you, you earn 100k a month, you pay tithe of 10k. Out of that 10k, 1k is what is supposed to be given to the priest. You can check it out, Nehemiah 10.38. And the priests are supposed to take it to the storehouse. Now, the priests were not taking it to the storehouse. So Malachi 2 verse 1 says, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. And it extends all the way down into Malachi 3.10. So the instruction is, you are robbing me, not you, not me. The priests who are supposed to take 10% of the tithe into the storehouse are the ones robbing God, not you. Hello? Let me see them stop collecting tithe. Let them stop for one year. Let's see who will still be a pastor. Me something on the internet about one fellow who said he was talking about tithe, that we shouldn't pay tithe. I, I, at first, I didn't want to listen, but God said, wait now, listen to what he has to say. And the fellow continued to talk, and he said, you see, tithe is supposed to be used to buy alcohol so they can drink in church. I said, oh, well, now we know who is talking. 
Even mad people don't go to church to drink alcohol. No, no, no. No matter how crazy somebody is, the moment you say this is a church, ask him to come in and drink. He will say, I I'm not that crazy. Because even in his madness, he knows when you say this is the house of God, the house belongs to God. Don't listen to any idiots telling you what to do about your money on the internet. Hear me. I mean that statement, idiot. Because anybody that is against the scriptures is a fool. That's what the Bible says. Who told you not to pay tithe and who told you to pay it? Put the two of them on scale and weigh. And choose who to follow. Nobody's telling you not to pay tithe. What right has it got to, to determine how you spend your money? And know what's happened to me? If an angel comes down and tells me not to pay tithe, I, I'm too convinced to be confused about it. Not all pastors are stealing money. When I was coming to this year, I said, God, I gave 54,000 every Sunday last year by your grace. What should I give this year? I had in my spirit double it. So every Sunday, 110,000. About somebody talking of Titan. I have a PhD in theology and a PhD in human resource administration. Not to argue. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, the natural man cannot receive the things of the Spirit of God. They are foolishness to him. He cannot know them because they are spiritually designed. It is stupidity for me to sit down and speak over spiritual matters with a logical reasoning. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 2, verse 2 from verse 20 down, he says, you need not any man to teach you, but the anointing which you have received teaches you all things. Your pastor or social media should not teach you about titan. Go and ask God. We must be careful so we differentiate from religious rascality and spiritual maturity. There's so much religious rascality. To talk is cheap. To post things on the internet is very cheap. I've read the Bible, Genesis to Revelation, 36 times. Omega began 2004. I was already a millionaire before it started. The tithe I pay every Sunday is more than the tithe all of you pay for two Sundays. I'm a dangerous tighter and I don't hope to change. That the Bible represents is being attacked online. Titan is an attack of the devil to diminish Christianity, and it's a lie. You see all kinds of rubbish. Don't join them. We we'll just pass. Just pass because their suffering is loading. I know there are those who are telling you not to not to give your tithe. Don't listen to them, or. They won't kill you. You go die quicker. Your tight is not about you. The Bible says, Why Levi was still in the system, in the loins of Abraham, he was already paying tight. When you pay tight, it's not about you, it's about your children, it's about your children's children. It's about your children's children's. Don't let anybody deceive you. We don't have time to get into it. But don't be deceived. When you look at yourself, look at the man who is saying you shouldn't pay tight. Make you look the truth. Make you see for yourself. You go see the difference. Bible said the difference is clear. I like to speak on the power of the tithe. Some bunch of yo-yo somewhere should not determine what we believe. Some guy who beats his wife, who beats his wife, throws her out, throws her, his children out of the house, should not determine what we believe. Not only does he beat his wife, his son was trying to defend her, he broke his own son's knees. He drinks alcohol, sleeps with women, and is trying to preach to preachers. He will shut up and let's speak. Listen carefully. God created the universe. He took a tithe. The Milky Way. God created the Milky Way. He took a tithe. The galaxy. Our galaxy. 
to a script like a cow is on the way to the grave. Yes. You must release to the level of his blessings on your life. I read the story of an elephant sometimes in one of the zoos here in America. This elephant consumed about 140 pounds of straw a day and releases 100 pounds of manure a day. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Now, he consumes 140 of straw, 140 pounds of straw per day, but discharges 100 pounds of manure daily. If he does less than that, he's on the way out. That's why many believers are dead where yet they live. Because they are keeping more than is required, and so they start dying. Come on now. But you see, a cow may here consume about 20 pounds and discharges about 14 pounds. According to the blessing available to him, he discharges. And a cat is here, a cat, a little pushy cat, takes in about 0.5 pounds a day and discharges 0 0.01 to the level of what he consumes. That's why many believers are properly dead. Why yet they live? Yeah. Make it clear to them. Anyone who is not paying his tithe is not going to heaven. Full stop. Goodbye friends and goodbye folks